Oh, welcome back everybody to Barry Peach Astro's video. And today I'm excited to show off my Gardevoir Galley deck. Gardevoir Galley just got even better with Astro Radiance, all because of the brand new Gallade here with the ability Buddy Catch and the attack Swirling Slice. Gardevoir Galley has been a deck I've done multiple videos on. It's one of my favorite like two prize decks to play. Of course, it all comes together through Curlia with Mirage Step, where you can search deck for up to three Curlias and put them on your bench, meaning you don't have to go through the hassle of putting rare candy Gardevoirs in play. We can just do Curlia to get the Curlias in play, and then the next turn, we can, of course, evolve them. And we now have three different targets to use. We have Gardevoir with Shine Arcana, even got a beautiful character rare. We also have Gallade with Dynablade, which is a nice fighting type attacker. And then we have the brand new Gallade, which is one of the best attackers this deck actually now has access to because it hits pretty hard for just two energy thanks to twin energy. It's got the attack. Whirling Slice does 160 damage for a Psychic and a Twin. And then you move an energy from his Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. This lets you two-shot most things. And, of course, you move the energy thing on the bench to conserve the energy. And then, of course, we have Body Catch, which once you're in turn, you get to search deck for your supporter card, which is fantastic. You get any supporter out of your deck, which is amazing. Um, and it just makes the deck even more consistent than it already usually is because of Gardevoir's ability, Shining Arcana. This is a list that I am playing here, and I really enjoyed it playing this deck. So yeah, for the video, of course, show to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. As always, if you're ever looking to get any PDCGO pack codes, get your codes over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you're going to get any set codes, of course, like Astral Radiance, the main set, or older sets, of course, like Evolving Skies or Fusion Strike or Brilliant Stars. Get them over at Card Cavern. If you get any codes at Card Cavern, make sure to use my discount code, code LDF at the checkout to get a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cavern. So shout out Card Cavern, check them out, and use code LDF if you get any codes. Also, while you're down there, make sure to go subscribe to the Shuffle Squad YouTube channel. I am a content creator on their channel now, um, and I post video every Monday. So make sure y'all go uh, give my videos a watch and give all the other content creators videos a watch and go sub to their channel if you haven't already. But yeah, this is my updated Guardi Galley deck. Gardevoir Galley got even better with Astro Radiance, and it's a lot of fun to play this deck. I've always really enjoyed this deck, and with the addition of this Galley, it got even funner to play. If that's a word. Funner? On my comment, not a word. I think it is a word. I'm gonna make it a word. We're gonna we're gonna create a new word today. Funner. Now, Galley does add a lot of power to the deck. Again, being able to do 160 for like just two energy, and you get to move the energy. So ideally, you go Swirling Slice, hit like I don't know, say like a. Uh, you know, a VMAX for 160, move that twin energy to your bench, and then it makes your opponent have to boss around the galley, which they may end up doing, but they don't boss around your galley. That means the twin energy you moved onto another attacker, like Gardevoir or Galley or your other galley on the bench. Bring in the next galley, attach an energy, attack, move, rinse, and repeat. That's the idea. I do have three rod in the deck. We always have a lot of ways to recover Pokemon with rod. I'm also playing Rescue Carrier to get back Curlia and Ralts. 80 and 90. Now, just because Curlia has a really awesome attack doesn't mean we're going to be able to not have to play Rare Candy. We still will play three candies. Rare Candy is still very relevant here because, yeah, Curlia's attack is great. It's only good once. You're not going to be using Curlia's attack more than once. You just use it once, right? And then you set up your board. And then after that, you have to get your other Gallade and Guardians in play by using Rare Candy into your Rolls or rotting back, you know, the Rolls and Curlia and Manny evolving. But Rare Candy does make it easier to cheat the evolution. And when you have access to Buddy Catch and Gardevoir's ability to shine Arcana, it's not bad. Shine Arcana, once you're in turn, you may look at the top two cards of your deck, attach any number of basic energy you find there, and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. So we can use this to accelerate energy also. Now, I am only playing 10 Psychic. I mean, that's still a lot of Psychic to play, but I'm not playing a super crazy amount, but 10 is still pretty good. The odds of hitting the energy off Gardevoir aren't really that bad. 10 Psychic is nice to have. But I will say I maybe should add another, you know, twin energy to the deck, um, but 10 Psychic is perfectly fine with me. I am playing two path. Um, I feel like we need to have some stadium to slow the opponent down. I think path is fine. I thought about Temple of Sinnoh, and then I'm like, oh, wait, then Twin Energy is shut off. That's a bad idea. So path, I think, is perfectly fine. Um, just it's nice to have in matchups where it's good, you know, to use path the peak, obviously. We also play one rock sand. The cool thing about this deck is because we have access to buddy catch, we can get any any card we want out of the deck, any supporter card. We can play some cool supporters. Now, I will say you can get more creative. After playing the deck, I maybe want to add a Raihan to the deck. I think Raihan is a great addition to this deck. But I am playing Roxanne. We can do Roxanne Path the Peak with this deck. As you can see, we're only playing two Research, and we are playing four Marnie, two Bruno, and one Roxanne. The reason we're playing so much Shuffle Draws is because there's going to come to a point in the game we don't want to research our hand away. We're not trying to dump our hand draw. We're just trying to keep our hand Shuffle Draw and stuff like that. And that's why we have the Roxanne and the four Marnie and the two Bruno in the deck for the supporters. Um, Roxanne's cute. I definitely think we do want to put a Raihan in here. And also, I think we should go down to 9 Psychic and 3 Twin. That's probably what I would change. But other than that, I mean, this deck is a lot of fun to play. Guarded Gal again, some big upgrades with Astro Radiance. Makes me very happy. Makes the deck even stronger, even funner to play. And let's go give it a try on PCGO. We are going to be going first. We'll take it. Playing against a Dragon deck box. This could be Duraludon, which is obviously going to be a little tricky when we do rely on 
um, some special energies. This could be a tough one, though I don't know if Gallade's attack actually goes through Drought or not. I don't know, because we moved the energy off, so I don't know how that works, actually. Um, I mulliganed six times. Oh my god, that is not good. Yeah, mulligan six times. Okay, okay. okay, that's awesome. Nice, and I got no Marnie. That's good. I think it's Rayquaza. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'm only getting six time though. Not, not ideal to say the least. Not ideal. Um, that's fine though. We'll grab Ralts. Don't think they can kill my active, so I can probably attach and then pass. And then next turn, hopefully we can pop off with this, uh, with this Curlia. I got no draw in my hand though, and I got no Gardevoir, so might be stuck actually. I go Curlia here. Then what else do I do? That's the thing. So we got to hopefully get a top deck. They could Marnie me, of course. There is the possibility they Marnie me. I do have Gallade and uh, Twin. That's good. I do have the Gallade Twin Energy combo. And honestly, my opponent could walk into the uh, other Gallade, too. They could bench a lot of V Pokemon, which could also help me out here a little bit. And then Gallade can do even more damage because they bench more Vs. They have a huge hand. Safe to say they're going to probably destroy me next turn because um, I did Mulligan six times, which is just not good. But if they have a supporter card, what do they even play, though? Because, I mean, if that's the thing. Like, your hand is so big, do you want to research that hand away? Like, do you want to not research? Or do they have a Marnie in their hand? Because otherwise, like, what do they do with their hand? Like, it's so big. You know? Like, it's it's almost too big. You can't really research and then lose all those resources. So, I guess that's one benefit. Ooh, they got Heavy Ball. Do they play Arceus V-Star is what I want to know. No, I'll grab a Krikatoon. Bench that so I can do more damage with Gallade. That'd be great. They do not bench it. Okay. True research. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I can play that. Okay, I got all the Curlias. Okay, I can play the research here, actually. I could wait a turn to play it, though, too. I don't have to play it right now. Then I can... No, I think I'll play it. Because ideally, I do want to build up another Gallade if I can. So, we'll just do this. The only thing is I have to not draw, what, two Curlias here off of this research? So I can put... Yeah, I need to not draw two Curlias here. I just need one Curlia. Perfect. Yeah, and then I can attack with Gallade next turn. So it actually works out pretty well. Okay, cool. We can go here. I have a path. I could, They have a mountain, though. I'm going to hold on to the path. They definitely have a Stormy Mountain in their hand. Um, Yeah, they definitely have a Stormy Mountain in their hand. I'm not going to play the path. That's just a bad idea. Let's grab two more Curlias. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm not... We, they definitely have a mountain, bro. Look at how big their hand. I'm going to wait till their hand gets really small, and then I'll path the peak them, and then maybe that can actually potentially win us the game. Path Marnie could be good, too. I can do that next turn. Yeah, there's really no need to path. They definitely have a stadium in their hand, at the very least. Like, I don't think it's worth it to path them there. Um, I do want them to bench that Rickatoon, though, for my other galley to do a little bit more damage. That is what I'm trying to get at here, but we'll see. Again, what supporter do they really play in this scenario, too? Yeah, see, there they go. There's the mountain another Rayquaza probably but yeah what supporter do they realistically play in the scenario you know what I'm saying like they could probably have a research no they get a f another Mareep not another Flaffy or another Rayquaza oh they have a research they aren't gonna bench Krikatoon okay that's annoying but they do actually just lose two V maxes which might actually only be their only V maxes in their deck okay there's another Rayquaza the fact they didn't bench Krikatoon tells me they're not gonna even bother benching it so that sucks <laughs> I want them to bench it it'd be Greatly appreciated if they did bench Krikatoon. So I could do 180 with my other Gallade. And then I get two shots. So that does kind of suck a little bit. Fine though. We can knock them out here. Or hit them for 160. And then we can actually path a peak them hopefully. And maybe path buys us a turn. Let's see there's an Ultra Ball getting played. Okay that's fine. They're going to probably grab another V hopefully. Please and thank you. Grab another V I dare you. They could get Crobat here. Actually, what do they even grab? I guess another Mareep, maybe? They could play... If they play something like Zara Aura, that could get awkward. No, they do get another Mareep. Okay, so it looks like I'm not going to use my other Gallade effectively. Unfortunately, I don't play Queen Horn. Hmm. So we're going to have the Marnie Path here, I think. That's fine. Marnie Path, I'm going to get a Gardevoir. Okay, that's fine. They kill my Curlia. We'll promote the Gallade. Or Curlia, Gallade, whatever you want to call it. We can do Buddy Catch, too. I don't have to... I guess I don't have to Marnie them. There is a pretty good chance they have a supporter in their hand, though. Which is kind of the problem here. They might already have a research in their hand, right? So that's why I'm, like, okay with Marnie them. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna Bruno. I wanna I need to draw a lot of cards. I'm just gonna Bruno. We're just gonna hope they don't have anything in their hand, I guess. I don't know. It's kinda how it is. Okay. Hmm. Kinda hoping we get another. I know we get a Gardevoir. I guess I can go to this galley. I don't really use it. I was kinda hoping to get the Gardevoir. Or like draw into it, but I guess we can search for it out. That works too. Uh can rod back the Curly on the Ralts. I think I can wait. I can wait to rod back Curlia and Gallade, actually. Don't need Ralts. Shine Narcana. We get rare candy. Not bad for next turn. I can buddy catch, I guess. Why not? Hmm. I do have Roxanne. So maybe we can try to like Roxanne Path in a few turns. Uh, I guess we just grab Boss here, sure. I don't know. Doesn't really matter what we grab, I don't think. Probably, well, no, nah, maybe I should grab. Maybe I should grab uh, Bruno. I will just swirling slice here for 160. I go ahead and put the energy on the curly, and let's see if my uh, my, my path actually sticks and they are stuck. Let's see it. Let's see if they're actually stuck here. Let's see if they can knock me out here. They got a level ball. They got another Flaffy. They need what two energy to kill me here? They need two lightnings to knock me out. They could have a rose in their hand. But Rose isn't going to work if they don't have an energy to go with it. Because they can't do Azure Pulse. It's just down to whether or not they find a stadium or they have a supporter. They do Quick Ball. Another energy away. Uh-oh. I feel like they have something in their hand here. I do feel like they, they're they playing like they do already have something in their hand. Yeah, I feel like they have a research here. The way they're playing tells me they have it. Oh, they can just knock me out. Baby Ray. Oh, no. Okay, see, now I should have grabbed Bruno. Instead of boss. I grab boss, I can kill the Rayquaza, but I should have grabbed Bruno. Because now they're gonna knock me out with baby Rayquaza, actually, which is pretty bad. If they have a supporter on if they have a supporter, that's not good either. Yikes, bro. Oh, they don't know, dude. I should have grabbed Bruno. I mean, well, actually, you know what? If I can draw up well, they're just gonna cook me again with Rayquaza. If I can draw into uh Gallade here, I can just knock out their Rayquaza. Maybe I can still get somewhere here. That's actually not even a good draw. I can use that. I will right, we'll do both. Get back Curly, I gallied. Might be my only rod left, too, which is pretty bad. Rely on Gardevoir here to bail us out. Energy is good. We'll take it. I have to Marnie them, though. It feels really bad. Yeah, Marnie here does not feel good whatsoever. And I wish I put the energy there. That wouldn't have been enough to kill that, though. I gotta play Marnie. That feels so bad. They could still brick off this, obviously, but we'll see. Okay, we got the Gallade, got the Curlia. Okay, that was a pretty good, pretty good Marnie, I would say. Yeah, see, and then they in the stupid hardy mode. Damn, bro, you gotta troll me. Grab these, and then Buddy Catch. I can grab Roxanne. Grab Roxanne. Because it actually might not... Well, it doesn't really matter what I grab, actually, but we'll see. Well, Buddy... Or Swirling Slice. I almost said Buddy Slice. Swirling Slice. For the Energy on Curlia. Okay, we'll see what happens next. Let's see if my opponent has anything here. I probably did Marnie them into, into something, at least. Right? Yeah, they can just knock me out with Spiral Burst again. They need to evolve into the Ray V Max. If the Path is going to stick again for another turn, I could Roxanne them to two with Path in play, but... I doubt Path is going to stick. It's gonna be a tough one to win. I think the main issue here is just not having I don't know. They just have too much too much going on, I feel like. In fact, my pumpkin is start energy every turn, it just makes it really hard to kind of counter them here. My best like I really would have loved if I could use my other galley in this matchup. That would have been really nice. I need to find that rare candy. I need a rare candy and two Gardevoir Gallade here. We'll see how this goes. They can knock me out here with Rayquaza. And I have to knock them out. I have to knock them out Gardevoir, I think. No, they're going to boss me. They're actually going to bring out the Curlia. That's annoying. Okay, that's really bad. Now I don't have... Now I don't have the twin to work with at the moment. I guess we'll bring in Gardevoir. I don't know. Not looking good. I got to hope to get energy here off Shining Arcana. Okay, that works. Another rare candy. We can get another Gardevoir. We have a few attempts here. That works. We'll do Buddy Catch. I only have one twin. I have five energy, though. The changes aren't that bad. Grab this. Arcana. 
Perfect. There we go. See? All worked out. It all worked out in the end. And then I can catch Roxanne. And let's see what we get here. Nice. We got Rod. Okay. Do I really need Rod again? Not really. Shine Arcana. Nice. Another energy. Okay. See, now we're getting somewhere. I can knock him out with Brainwave. All I have to do is KO the Rayquaza and then boss for game. So I think I actually may have this game wrapped up. If Roxanne can actually stick too, that'd be really good. Roxanne sticking here could be great. Maybe I should have rotted. I don't know. We don't really need to rot any Pokemon back, I feel like. None of this. We already have our attackers in play. Because they knock out Gardevoir. They knock out Gardevoir. They knock out Galilee. They win. They don't need to knock out anything else. So what I can do here is I can go Gallade and then maybe I can build up a big Gardevoir. There's an Ultra Ball. They don't have any way to draw cards, it looks like. Unless this grabs them like something crazy. No. Rayquaza. That's fine. Now they're still in top deck mode. They can't even Wisdom. So I can kill the Rayquaza with Gallade. And then I can win the game by KOing that with... Okay, so I think I I think I think should win here. I think we got him. As long as I don't have Marnie, obviously. As long as I don't play a Marnie. Well, even then I have Buddy Catch, right? So I guess I should try to get another Gardevoir in play. Or another, another Gallade in play. Because I do have Buddy Catch, actually. Which can guarantee me the boss for game. Because all I gotta do... I knock out Rayquaza here with Gallade. And then I can win the game with Gardevoir. So I think we should have them. They need an energy. They can, what, they get to see three cards, three new cards next turn. They get their prize, their top deck, plus Primate Wisdom. See if they can get anywhere. Again, they're out of Rayquaza VMAX probably too, which is a good sign. The Ralts, no? We don't have any Ralts in the deck. All right, we'll Rod. Get back Ralts. And just Ralts. I think that's all I really want is the Ralts. Got to get the Galilee. We get the two energy back. The more energy we have... Higher chance we can do more damage. Ball crystal for the Ralts. Yeah, my other Ralts are Okay. The Ralts. Catch. We'll buddy catch. Thin out the deck. Yeah, we have another Rare Kitty Gallade in the deck. We're vibing. Shining Arcana. Toy Spell Gallade. Yep, they can see. There we go. We got him. All right. Eventually, we did end up getting them. And there you go. That is the Gallade Gardevoir deck in action there. Beating my points, Rayquaza the deck. I'm not going to lie. Path the Peak did do a lot. But even, honestly, no, I'm not even going to say that. Path the Peak wasn't even that good. I mean, okay, it was a, it was good because I shut off their Azor Pulse. But because of their setup, they really didn't even care about the path. Like, they were still taking knockouts every turn. So, despite Path dis disrupting them, they still were able to kind of get out of there. But as you can see, we still got them in the end. All right, looks like we are going second, unfortunately. Definitely want to go first with the deck, not second. But we're up against a grass deck here. We'll have to see what it is. Going second here is going to be bad. We open a mana fee. Nice, we got Marnie. Yeah, they're playing They're playing some grass deck. It's probably like a Gardenia's Vigor deck. Let's we'll see. It'll be beatable. Sucks we're not going second, or going first, though. So. You kind of want to go first this deck. That's like the thing. When you're playing Guardi Galley, going first is like you is like the best thing about it. Because like you kind of need to go first, not second. So not good. We also got the worst starter. We got Manaphy. Are right, they're playing Zarud. Zarud ain't threatening. That can't one shot any of my Gardevoirs. I don't know. We're gonna have to probably just Marnie Path here and pray. It's the only thing I can think of. Marnie Path Pray. I'm gonna attach a Manaphy to retreat it. I don't want Manaphy to stay in play for leap to leap, actually. I don't really want leap to leap to do anything. Got B Doof. Alright, we'll see what they're playing here. It's like a grass box deck. They could have Delmai's V Max. Could be awkward. We'll see. Alright, what do we draw? Ralts? Okay, we got Ralts. We're gonna just let's get rid of Roxanne. They have B Doof. Roxanne's gonna be kinda pointless here, to be honest. We'll grab Ralts. Do I have any switching cards? No, so that's a harder treat. Damn. I was gonna say we can confuse them, which honestly wouldn't be terrible. I don't really want to retreat into Ralts. We'll attach Mana Fee. We'll path Marnie and Prey. Marnie, path, Prey. Did we get anything good? That's not bad, actually. Right, I'm going to leave Mana Fee in the active. That's a pretty good hand, honestly. Three of a Wind Sense is great. I can just go Curlia, and then next turn I can go Gallade plus Gardevoir. Best top deck here would probably be another Ralts, so I don't know. I need to get more energy in play, though. That's the thing. I need to work towards Gallade, so we'll see. They got Shaman, that's fine. Let's see if my Marnie Path did anything. It did not do anything. But, okay, they can grab Barrel, but they can't grab Crobat. And they do lose on Marnie and a Gardenia. Which is actually, that means that one card in their hand must be super relevant for them to get rid of two supporters. Especially the Marnie. Getting Marnie here wouldn't be the worst thing ever, but I mean, look at how good her hand is. That was an energy. Wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it have been better to do Gardenia first, actually? Gardenia to the Shaman and then go Ultra Ball? 
No getting, not getting Marnie though could be relevant. I mean, look at our hand. I mean, our hand is pretty good, you know? Pretty good hand, I would say. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get knocked out here, thankfully. They're a little bit on the slower side. Shaman V Star does 120, I think. No, 160. No, Shaman V Star can one shot. No, they got the counter stadium. Training court, ooh. Still actually not a bad stadium for us, though. Take advantage of that. Okay, they're gonna grab a crowbat. They are. That's fine. I don't mind that. Now I can do more damage with Gallade. I don't mind them doing that. As long as my opponent does not take a prize. I really don't want to fall behind here. That's why you don't want to go second with the deck. Because your opponent gets the, the first prize before you even do uh, Curly's attack. You're already going to be really far behind. But we don't want them to get this knockout this turn. Uh, if they get a prize here, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. They're losing a lot of supporters, which is nice. They might play Palpad, but we'll see. Okay. They need a lot here to knock me out, I feel like. We'll see if they have it. Hopefully not. Again, we do not want them to get a prize here. We do not want my opponent to take a prize this turn. That'd be very bad. And they have the Gardenia. They could have... Oh, they could have an escape rope. That would suck. Zarud? That ain't bad. Nice, they don't have it. All right, good. See, I just needed them not have it there. We'll take it. Another twin energy. Meh. All right, let's retreat. And then grab Curlia. Okay, they're all in there. Nice. Just making sure the gang's all here. And do I ever play Training Court? Yeah, there's no reason not to. Because they can Marnie me or something. I can draw Marnie and there's more energy in the deck for Gardevoir. I'll grab three Curly. Okay. Now, again, I mean, we could actually not get knocked out again. I mean, their setup is still kind of underwhelming. Maybe we won't get knocked out again. Maybe we'll have another turn where my opponent somehow whiffs a KO. It's unlikely, but you never know. They can't bench any more Pokemon. They have the barrel, but the barrel's barely drawn any cards. They have seven cards in their hand, so. There's actually a world where we don't get knocked out. We'll see, though. But it's good we got the setup before they got the first attack on me. Now, the problem is, how do I attack them? I'm going to have to go with my other Gallade, I think. I'm going to have to use a Dynablade Gallade. Because I can't build up the Gallade in one turn. I could try to do Gardevoir's ability plus. Like, I could go Gardevoir's ability plus energy attached. But if I whip the energy, then I can't attack. And then I'm behind. So I think I got to go Dynablade here. Which isn't that bad. They do attach a Shaman. Shaman gets the job done, I guess. No, it doesn't. It only does 60. They, they got to get the V-Star. They also have to move their active. They have five cards in their hand. Maybe they don't have any way to... Think. No, they just research. All right, that's fine. Now they need Switch plus V-Star here. You know, Switch and a V-Star. If they don't knock me out, we're going to be, like, in a really, really good spot. Like, I'm talking, like, yeah, I don't even know if we can lose at that point. That's how good of a spot we'd be in. You know what I could do? If I, had a, if I have a Choice Belt... Okay, somehow they don't knock me out. If I get a Choice Belt, I can go Boss, knock out Shaman. Okay, they got Ultra Ball. They didn't get... They got the V-Star, which is bad. They do have that V-Star power, actually, which could be pretty difficult. They could heal. That could make things awkward. Yeah. Oh, it only does 120. I thought Shaman V started 160 base. Okay, 120. That's not even a KO. A gar okay, that, that gives me time. So that's not even a knock out a Gallade. I think we have the Dynablade if they knock me out. Yep, they got me. Damn it. Budge, bro. You're not supposed to draw that well. Yeah, look at them. They whipped the knockout earlier. They're down a lot of supporters too, so which is good. It does 120 damage. Yeah, it's not really... They can't one-shot a Gallade. I was going to say, if we survive the turn, I could go boss, knock out Crobat with Gallade. Um, but that wasn't going to happen. We got to go... I think we got to go double Gallade here. I need Buddy Catch. Let's say draw a supporter. But yeah, we can Dynablade. They can't one-shot Gallade. I'm feeling pretty okay about my spot. I mean, yeah, they got the first knockout, but it's not a big deal. You kind of expect that with this deck. That was not a good draw. Yeah, we got to go double Gallade here. Yeah, double Gallade it is. Because we need to we need to attack with Dynablade. It's our best attack. Now again, they have the ability to heal the Shaman, but that's fine. Question is, what am I doing with Buddy Catch? Do I Bruno? I think I do Bruno. I need to draw a bunch of cards here. AKA, I need to get more Ralts down. Put energy back for Gardevoir just in case. Alright, well Bruno here. Nice. Wow, well, is it nice? I didn't get any getting Gardevoirs. Yeah, no Gardevoirs. Hoping to get a Guardi there. I did just burn three people when sent, so. Uh, do I evolve another Gallade? Still think it's better to get a Gardevoir going here. This is Dynablade, it's fine. They aren't taking a prize this turn, most likely. Well, they could have a boss. They haven't played one yet. They could boss one of my Rolls, I guess. They could get my Curlia. I guess they could have a boss, but then I knock out their Shaman, which is actually really good. 
I do not mind knocking out the Shaman whatsoever. It's actually, honestly, Shaman's more of a threat than the Zarude because it can one-shot if I take a knockout. If I take one prize card, this thing one-shots all of my attackers. What does this do? It's equals 20. They get three energy on it. That's only 120. That's still short. All right, we're chilling. I actually like Manaphy being in play. That Leap to Leap can fix some of the mass. So it's actually better to keep Manaphy in play in this matchup. If we ever get Rescue Carrier or Rod, I might put Manaphy back. All right, let's see if they can take a prize this turn. I imagine they'll find a boss. They haven't played one yet, so there's a pretty good chance they get a boss here. They're probably going to KO Curlia. They could bring in Gallade, actually, and then stall it for a turn, which is what they are going to do. Okay, see, now I need to find a Gardevoir, because then I can go potentially Swirling Slice. Or I could just find Twin and Retreat, but then I lose one of my Twins, which is pretty annoying. Uh, we'll see. I think I play... Th I can't remember if it's three or two Twins. All right, let's see what they do here. They'll hit me with Revenge Blast for 120. I need it. I want to kill the Shaman, so we'll see if we can draw out of this. We'll see. Gardevoir? Bruh. More energy. That's torture. I only have one twin. One could be prized. I got the buddy catch here. Marnie them. It's fine. Doesn't even matter. Uh I'm gonna play the Marnie. I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm not gonna attach an energy just yet. Okay. Pretty good draw. Uh I'll shuffle the deck here. Aw, Crystal. I have to grab an energy. Shuffle the deck. Let's see if we can hit energy off Gardevoir. Hey, let's go. We can retreat Gallade. Hooray. There we go. Boom. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. I can rare candy into another galley just in case. We'll do the training court. I'm not going to bother doing buddy catch. We're just going to knock him out. Boom. Galley for the knockout. Look at our setup right now. If I get another guardy line, I can get another galley in play. Okay, we get a quick ball and we also get a research. Okay. Might there be another buddy catch for Bruno. We're in a pretty good spot right now, though. My opponent still can't take a prize on my active. Now, they probably have another boss. If I'm going to be honest, they probably have another boss. I imagine they play maybe two boss at most. I mean... They, might, they definitely have another boss here. I guarantee they got another boss. But that's fine because I, I ain't even sweating it. It's actually pretty good this Gallade here has 1-6 HP. They could have knocked out Manaphy and then like knocks out Leap to Leap. I don't know. Just a thought. We're sitting pretty. Now let's see if they have another Shaman though. They are down Rod. So they can't get the Shaman back at the moment. So if they have another Shaman, we might be okay. Uh, or they don't. Because uh, Shaman is the biggest threat they have in this matchup. Because it is the one thing that can one-shot me. But... Without Shaman, they're, they're just too slow. Yeah. I mean, we have pretty much... I mean, we're still not in a... Okay. Here's the issue. There's boss. Told you that. They bring in the Gallade again. Oh, my God. Stop it. I knew they had the other boss. They always have it. So, the problem is I can't really attack right now. Um, I still can't really attack with Gallade. Unless I draw into the twin and I can Shining Arcana. So, I'm just going to research. I'm going to research here. I could Marnie, I guess. They do have nine cards left. Oh, they do play another Shaman. Uh-oh. Fine, they can bench that, though. I can hit harder with Dynablade. Don't mind that at all. I mean, they're probably going to deck out. They might not even be able to do Gardenia at this point. I mean, bro, they got five cards left in their deck. Yeah, I think I'm just going to research here and just kind of gamble. Hopefully, we draw a Gardevoir here. If we could draw energy or Twin Energy or Gardevoir, it would be pretty good. I could do Shine Arcana first, though. Might not be bad, actually. Let's see if we draw. Boss? I could boss their other Zarude and trap it for a turn, but I'm not trying to kill Zarude. I'm trying to kill, I'm trying to kill the uh, the Pokemon. I could try Narcon and then Marnie, I guess. If worst comes from, all right, whatever. Let's just do it. We got another retreat. Aha! Let's go. That is actually hilarious. That is pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Buddy catch, Marnie. Trading cord. Get the energy back in the deck. Nice. <laughs> That's funny. Hopefully they don't play three boss. So at this point, it won't be really matter. Can I get a rare candy Gardevoir? No. Voice belt. Pretty good next turn on that thing. What do I got left? I can rod here. Nah. I can carry her though. Get back Curlia. Okay. How am I going about this? We'll do buddy catches thin the deck out. Grab Bruno. So... They're going to be able to kill me with Shaman here, right? No, I have 170 HP. 
Shaman still can't. No, Shaman can't one-shot me. I took two prizes. Never mind. I'm dumb. So they have to get Shaman V-Star plus Dark Gardenia double energy to knock it out my Gallade. They do knock out Gallade. I might not have an energy, so that could be awkward. If I get double Gardevoir, it might be okay. So let's just Dynablade and pray. Next turn, if my opponent somehow doesn't involve Shaman and doesn't knock me out, I can just go Choice Belt, Buddy Catch, Boss, knock out Shaman, which could be nice. I'm hoping that is the last of their boss's orders, though. I'm hoping they're not playing three because they could boss me again. Those bosses were definitely tricky. That's, that's actually annoying because it made me have to not get energy in play. Like, I mean, I don't have energy on my Pokemon. Like, there could be a world where I don't attack my opponent because I'm not able to attach energy because of the fact that they keep getting those bosses. And that did make things awkward. They did find the Gardenia. Do they have the energy, though? They probably do because they have training court. Once again, though, three cards left in their deck. They are close to decking out. I could win by stalling the Zerud, to be honest. I can definitely stall the Zerud. I'll say I have like a... They could play double rod, I guess. We'll see. How many Marnies are they down? They're really down two Marnie. They might play three. They could still Marnie by time. Now it's less likely. They got to have some way to recover. They're going to deck out. Question, uh, there's a, oh, yeah. We can definitely deck them out now. We can just stall the barrel or Zerud or something and win. They have seven cards left. I could probably win by Marnie them at this point. I can Marnie deck them out if if they stop. If they stop. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's not looking at my opponent is what I'm trying to say. Guardy Gallade, man. It's just too strong, bro. Guardy Gallade. Guardy Gallade. Let's go. All right, what do they have here? They don't have a knockout. I can just boss knockout Shaman, which is fine by me. We can finally attach an energy. We shine Arcana while we're at it. Just get some extra cards here, and then we'll buddy catch for the boss. Dynablade, knockout Shaman. So that Shaman threat is no longer on the board. Do this just in case we get Marnie. And we can put energy for her. And knock him out. Boop, that's game. Most likely, because now all they now all we have to do is knock out Crobat or Gal or Zarude, but now he's got to kill Zarude to win. Let's see, if we get off our prize. More energy, Fog Crystal. All right, I think that's GG's. I don't see how they're going to stop me at this point. My opponent does have the ability to attack with Zarude, and then I win. And with Gardenia, I mean they're close to decking out. They can't even really do another Gardenia. So I think we've I think we've got him. That was an interesting match, to be honest. That was an interesting game. They do have another Shaman. All right, whatever. Again, they'll deck out if they do Gardenia, unless they have a Rod in the deck or Palpad. If they play one more card from their hand, I also win with Marnie here. Either I knock out their active with Boss. Well, actually, I might, even, I might be able to knock them out with Boss. I don't have any... I don't have the uh, energy on it. Hmm. He might dodge a bullet, but I can also deck out with Marnie. No, they're just going to attack. Okay, so I can't deck out with Marnie. I might not win this turn... See though. In order to win this turn, I gotta go do this. Do this. I think we rod Bruno. Get Gallied. Get Bruno. Get Psychic back. I think I have to Bruno. Yeah, I got a Bruno here, and then hope that we can hit an energy off Gardevoir. Because I just put a bunch of energy in the deck. All right, I didn't draw as much energy as I expected, which is good. We can do Buddy Catch. Thin the deck out a little bit. We didn't get the twin either. I was hoping we could also get twin. I guess that would have worked. All right, seven energy in the deck here. I actually do have a double Gardevoir we can do, actually. So we can go ahead and do that right now. Double Gardevoir plus... Yeah, double Gardevoir plus Gallade. It's looking... Double Gardevoir here. We just need one energy to win the game. Didn't get it. Uh-oh, we didn't get the... Mm, come on, bro. Thank heavens. I was going to say, bro, there's no shot I whiff again. All right, we got him. We got him. That was kind of insane. Swirling Slice for the dub with Guardy Galley beating my opponent's Grass Box deck. Honestly, scarier matchup, but we got him in the end. We can move the energy to Gardevoir, and that is a dub with the Guardy Galley deck. Insane match there. Shaman's pretty scary, but we dealt with it. That's the power of having two different Gallades, both of which are pretty good attackers, and... I also like to say Buddy Catch kind of carried us too. I'm not going to lie. Buddy Catch is pretty good. And that's it for the video on the Guardy Gallade deck. I'm going to leave you those matches there. I think I did a good job showing off how this deck got even better. All thanks to Gallade allowing you to chain supporters every turn. Keep your consistency alive. Having a good attacker that two shots things can serve in your energy is really, really good. And I really like this Gallade. I think it was a great upgrade of the deck. And I'm excited to see where it goes in the future. I think Gallade could be pretty good down the road. Again, that's a, that ability is really good. Being able to get a supporter out of your deck for free is very powerful. It is on a stage two, but. With Curlia, anything is possible. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun to play. I think after playing the deck, I would maybe add a Raihan. I think this deck wants to play one Raihan. I would also add a third twin energy to the deck. I think we definitely need to play three twin. I think two twins is a little too low. I definitely think 
We need to put a third twin energy in the deck. I think we should probably just cut a psychic and then add a third twin. That would be my upgraded list. I'll put this list in the description, actually. I think we definitely want to play three twin in the deck for sure. I think two twins a little too low. But honestly, no, the deck was perfically fine. Again, Gallade, great new addition to the deck. A lot of consistency it gets added, and you get a better attacker. One of the issues I always have this deck, Gardevoir just wasn't very strong. It only does like 150 for three, and 150 is not even good numbers anymore. Even with Choice Spell coming out, it still didn't get the mark. And the Dynablade Gallade is nice, but it's like not really good enough. But yeah, having access to uh, the new Gallade here just lets you do more damage and more damage is really good and i think this galley was a great upgrade to guarded galley definitely get the deck a try it's a little bit slower obviously and um it does kind of rely a bit more on going first mainly because you need to go curlia like ideally you want your opponent to take one prize card before like after you set up your board with curlia so you definitely maybe want to bump up the count of like that if you want that's why we have the rock sand path combo just a bit of disruption could always go a long way and that'll be the video on my guarded galley deck if y'all enjoyed the video leave a like if you're new to the channel down below help me on the road to reaching 29 thousand subs i want to maybe see if we can hit twenty nine thousand subs by next thursday which is nic or next friday's nic but you get my point like i'm gonna see if we can maybe hit twenty nine thousand subscribers before nic that'd be awesome and greatly appreciated um because we're on the road to 30k so yeah appreciate it if you could help me get there if you haven't subbed yet make sure to just hit that subscribe button right now and i've never missed that daily upload content check out car cam down below if you get any astral radiance codes use code ldf at the checkout check out travel squad down below check out my twitch my twitter and my discord server down below and i'll leave you guys with that and i will catch you all later Bye bye